Hey guys, welcome back again. Today I'm going to repeat that swipe that I did yesterday, the one I had trouble with swiping with the navy blue, and I thought it was because the navy blue was a transparent colour. So, to test my theory, I'm going to go again with the same colours and I'm going to use a black swipe. But before I get started, I'll show you a couple of my dry pores, a couple of the sandwich pores that I did. So this is the first one. It was just a, a smaller piece. So that's dry now. I had a bit of a blobby white bit there. I mustn't have stirred my white in properly, so that's a bit blobby. Uh, but apart from that, it's dried well. It's got pretty background. Uh, this kind of looks like a bit of a cove where the beach is coming into the darker water there. Then some froth on the on the waves. Kind of reminds me of that. So that's that one. And then I did the bigger one. And I don't know if this is going to fit into the frame. That's it there. So it's pretty as well, nice, pretty background. Um, I don't think this style is really for me. I mean, I enjoy doing it. I like trying different things when people do them. I think, oh, I want to try that, um, as we all do. But um, I do prefer my regular flip and drags, just with the bigger cells. I just don't think that this is as interesting. It's quite pale. I prefer the brighter colors and the bigger cells but it sure was fun trying it so there we go that's that one sandwich pool okay uh, let's get started I put my gloves on my mix for today is 70% Elmer's glue all and 30% water same as usual for my swipes uh, when I'm doing my flip cups I add a little bit of flow troll to it slightly different. Flip cups I have one to one ratio. Uh, this is two to one. So two parts pouring medium, one part paint. So in my little cups here I have got 60 grams of pouring medium to 30 grams of paint. And I'm just going to put two drops in each colour except for the swipe colour which is going to be the black. Oops, did that go in? I don't know. One, two, one, two. My paint's still a little bit frothy. I only just made it up. It's been sitting probably about oh, maybe half an hour while I've been mixing up some paints. But it's still quite frothy and bubbly on top. So, But anyway, I'm just going to go with it. The problem with having it little, you know, frothy and bubbly like that is when you swipe, those little bubbles come to the surface and you get those little tiny, tiny cells, similar to um, what you get with Floetrol. When you swipe with Floetrol, you get these little tiny little specks that come up and then when you torch them, they turn into bigger cells. So, But that's okay. Uh, for the purpose of this pour, I just want to see whether or not it was that um, transparent deep space that uh, gave me trouble. If you missed that pour, I'll show you the results. It's still wet, I only just did it yesterday. So that's it there. It's just a mass of cells. Um, they're not very well defined cells. It's just, just a little bit too messy for me. Don't like it and I think that's because of the blue swipe, the navy swipe. So anyway, we'll try again. Put him up there on my new drying rack. Love it. So, uh, colours. Turquoise. Popping some white in there. And shrimp. Marina. And deep space. So this is the one that was the transparent one, but I'm just putting it in here as well. Because I've got quite light colours. I've got this light turquoise, the darker turquoise. We've got the peach colour and the white. So these are all my beachy sort of things. Like I was trying to create last time, my um, tequila sunrise. Um, you know, with the, the sand, the light water, 
sort of the darker water here and then the froth on the ocean. So that's the kind of look I'm going for. So I'm going to spread all the colours out. I'm going to leave the top area for some black swipe. Radio, here we go. Just pour it out however you want to pour it out. I'm not going to use all that turquoise. It's a bit bright, a bit strong. So I will keep it, keep some of it for my next pour. It just tends to take over. I don't mind a little pop of it, but I don't want a lot of it. Okay, my peachy colours. And um, I'm sort of trying to have maybe a little bit thinner lines as well. See if that makes any difference. Rather than big blocks of one colour, a few more lines, but thinner lines. Let's see if we can get some lovely multicoloured cells up. Because the colour, there's been more colours dragging over each other, so hopefully we should get more multicolours. One of my little dogs, Connor. Yes, hello, baby. He's just sitting down there. The sun's coming in through the window and he's lying on the floor in the sun. Is that nice, baby? <laughs> Take it in turns. Different dogs come in with me on different days. Poodles are just like that, hey? If you've got poodles, you know what I'm talking about. They just want to be with you. They love human contact. Radio. Um... Do a little bit of the, the deep space. And this will help bring in a little bit of that darker colour too that I'm going to be wanting. Um, I might use all of that. I'll just leave that for now. Now a little bit of this, not too much. That will probably be enough. Not too much. So this is a 20, uh, what is it, 12 by 24 inch canvas. I'll drizzle a little bit of white in here. I don't want too much white as well, but just a little drizzle. I'll just pop that down there. Uh, so yeah, uh, which is... Uh, what did I say? It was 12 by 24 inch, 30 by 60 centimetre. Mm. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's all the paint on for now. Now I need to just tilt it to cover my sides. Trying to leave a little bit of space at the top there for my black. Okay, that side's pretty much done. Swiping is very messy. You have to have a, a cloth handy, paper towel handy to put down here to catch your swipe. All right, now I'm just going, trying to get this little corner up here. I might have to put a little bit more paint there actually, just to catch that. Up and over. Just don't leave too much paint on your surface. You've heard me talk about that before. If you leave too much on, um, where your plastic sheets sort of touch each other, you'll get a bit of a ridge where the paints are kind of puddling, I guess. So, and also your cell shape won't be good. So, tilt. If your paint's running really fast, you've got way too much on there and maybe it's a bit thin. It's not travelling too fast. 
but I'm just going to get a little bit more off. some lacing happening here in the in the navy that transparent color um, I think what I'll do is I'll just use my leftover white and I'll just cover my sides with that for now so that it's everything's covered down here on the side Doesn't matter too much about the bottom um, because as you drag your plastic sheet down that's all gonna get covered anyway by the paint that you're pulling down so it doesn't have to be covered totally um, I'm just one worried that I haven't got left I haven't taken enough paint off it seems to be moving quite fast still I'll just Ran some more over the bottom there. Okay. Rightio. Let's swipe. Move everything out of the way. Um, now, oops, I've got a little bit of a blank spot just there. Let's fill that in. A little tiny bit of canvas showing. Make sure everything's covered. All right, now the black. Gone the same consistency as the other paints. You can't really see it in there, but there's no mound. Let's pop some black on. And let it run over the edge. Cover the edge there. Cover the corner. I'll have to check the other side in a minute. Right, bring it down, take it back up, just make sure it's all gone over. So you don't want to leave, I think it's all gone over almost, yep. You don't want to leave too much of your swipe colour up there either. So just, you know, do this, level it out. Make sure it's run over the, the back there. That's pretty just as it is, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Okay, uh, now the other thing I wanted to do was just drizzle a little bit of black through my, my centre. Just like that. Just to add a little bit more black, as I said in my previous swipe videos. Once you've dragged your black through, because you're just dragging the black over the top, it's pretty much all gone by here. So you need to pick up another little bit of black and just go over the, the rest of it. Just to make sure that you've got enough black. Um, I'll take a little bit more actually. Although I have got the navy which is quite dark so I might not need any more black. Okay, let's do it. Got my plastic. So, is that going to be enough? Hopefully. I'll do half with this side and then half with the other side. So, don't touch the very edge of the canvas because it's a little bit raised and you'll get a bald spot. So, just come in a little bit. I don't want to take too much of the black actually. Just touch the black. So try not to touch your other colours and just drag the black across the other colour. So there's the black picking up and dragging over the bottom half. Wipe that down on your little bit of paper towel that you've got sitting here ready to go. Turn that around so using the clean side. It needs to overlap just a touch. Again, touch just your black. And 
drag. Uh, now, if you've missed your edges like I have because my little my plastic wasn't quite big enough, uh, I just use a card. I get some paint chip cards from the hardware store. So just pop a little bit more black just there and just touch the edge and drag that through. Most likely going to cover my sides with black anyway. I do like the sides to be black. And do the other side as well. This one's not so bad. Oops, I'm going to stand here so I can just touch the very edge. But uh, yeah, I will cover those sides in black no doubt later on okay well that's looking better isn't it can you see the difference between this one and the other one or shouldn't we talk it so so early yet wait and see hey it's the other one straight away those cells were popping up and all misshapen and they were awful, awful. Oh, well, I thought they were awful. Some people might like them, you know, the messy cells. I guess I'm a very structured person. Um, I like things done in a certain way. I like order and tidiness. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I like them to be round and pretty. I don't really like wobbly cells that much. When I started pouring, my cells were more wobbly and I just thought they were wonderful, but I didn't really know any better. But now that I know that you can make round, multi-coloured cells, those are what I want. Just covering this up a little bit. This was where the edge of the plastic had kind of dug in a little bit. It's made a bit of a a little kind of like scratched it I guess there we go that'll be that'll be all right radio let's torch see what's gonna happen so slowly first don't go overboard go around once Here they come. Hello, little cells. Welcome to the world. It's hard not to fiddle, isn't it? And usually when we fiddle, we make things worse. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to leave that. Okay, no, it's it's paler than I expected. Mind you, I have oh, I have got pale colours. I've got the peach. I've got the light turquoise. Didn't put much dark turquoise in. You can see a little bit, little bit of the dark per, um, turquoise popping up in the, some of those cells. All right, that's enough. I don't want to over torch. So here's some more coming up now. This has got plenty. I like a little bit of background there. I think I'll probably have to just do another little bit of a torching just there because it's got a lot there and it stops and then it's got more there. So, but aren't the different sizes of cells pretty? Like these little tiny peachy colored ones and little light blue ones through here. And then we've got the bigger ones happening. So I'm going to torch just here, just really lightly. If you over torch and you heat your cells, 
they'll melt. It's like melted ice cream and then they'll run and then you'll lose that nice round edge because they will just run and get kind of wobbly. So be careful not to overheat them. So just waiting now to see what else needs to come up. I could put a little bit more black here while I'm waiting. I've got a few little cells popped up just there. And I don't really want cells way up here. I'd like a nice um, black top to it. So it's dark at the top and then it gets lighter and lighter and lighter with the background. That's what I'm talking about the background here. That's what I personally like. Um, Alright, so we've got a little peachy cell that's popped up there. I probably need a little bit more, but I'm going to have to be really careful now because I don't want to get... I'm going to sort of go around here and then a little bit more through here and then that'll be enough. see how that looks. Got a few more coming up here. These cells will continue to grow. So you certainly don't want to be torching here or here anymore because they will grow. A little bit here just on this corner. So the white hasn't shown through a lot. Um, this is what I had with the other pour. The white seems to just sort of blur into the other colours and dull them down a little bit without actually popping up as an entire white ring. Got a little bit of white just showing down here um, and a bit in there. But everywhere else, it's kind of just toned each colour down. So mm, maybe white isn't such a good idea. And then you've got a black swipe over it, which kind of gives you a bit of a greyish look. So I might try this again without the white and just see if I can get the colours to pop a little bit more because it's kind of going a little bit greyish for me and that might be the white and the black. Alright, that was the last of the torch. Somebody take it away. I think that's enough enough interest um, that's just got these few more coming up here that last little bit of a torch that I did these in here are really cute so depending on the amount of heat that you put on here it will also determine the size of the cells these ones are keeping on growing they're so pretty these ones I'll take you down and have a look at those so see over here we've got a big cluster I must have got a bit closer to the torch just there. This is really pretty, this peach and turquoise that comes through there. Um, these are more standalone over here. So they're quite round, they're not touching other cells so they've kept their round shape. All right, let's take you in for a close up. Um, actually, I'll just do my sides because as soon as I've taken you in for a close up, I will be popping it down on the ground and taking a photo of it. I need my sides to be done too. There we go. Run that through. A little bit of black missing just there. It's another little bit just there, isn't there? There we go. So, as far as experiments go, you guys know the results, don't you? You can see the difference. So same colours, there's the one with the navy swipe, uh, yeah the navy, it was a transparent colour so it stayed on top, which means the cells haven't popped through. This one, the black is opaque so it's dropped and the cells have popped up through that black, creating much better cells. So there you go. Experiment. Science experiment. 101. Don't swipe with a transparent colour. Alright, take you down.
Hello, Connor. <laughs> okay. There it is. Very pretty cells. So when I started swiping, I used to just use Floetrol and paint. Like three parts Floetrol, one part paint. But uh, I, I didn't really get a very good cell shape. The glue really seems to help hold the cells. So what do you think? It's pretty, isn't it? Really, really pretty. Multicolored cells. There's that quite a big colony there of cells. And then these ones over here are more sort of standalone. And then I always love the top. Because the, the swipe colour is thicker at the top there, you get these tiny little bubbles that don't really grow because the swipe colour is quite thick and they don't they just don't have room to sort of pop up and spread out so you get these little tiny bubbles and I always like putting the lighter colour up the top because I know that those little ones are going to pop up against the black and they're really going to stand out so I, that's why I have a lighter colour against my swipe so there you go uh, successful experiment. I'll probably scrap that other one because it's not something I want to keep. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.